April 29th. And guess what? Today, we're going to talk about how to put these on. Tell mom and dad what this is. This is my sock. Do you see? It's got kitties on it. So I'm going to put my socks on today. This is how you teach how to put socks on, mom and dad. I'm going to move this over here so you can kind of see. There's my foot. And here's my sock. So the first thing you have to make sure that your child does is pick it up and get it oriented the right way. You need to put your thumb in one side and hold it and in the other side and hold it and pull it out a little bit as much as you need so that your foot fits in it. Then the second thing you need to do is make sure that they can pick up their foot. So watch me, I'm picking up my foot and I can cross it like this and then I have access to it or I could pick it up like this and then reach down. So I'm gonna show both ways. This way requires a little more core strength in the belly. It's a little harder. This one requires a little more flexibility to be able to reach. Either one works. So you grab one side and then the other. You're going to pick up your foot. You have to get it over one side of the toes and the other side of the toes. And you need to pull, 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 pull. I picked this sock because it has a nice heel. It shows it where to go. Some socks don't have that. So you have to pay attention to what you're doing. Now that is how you put it on. If you have good core strength in your belly and you're able to, to uh, lift your leg while you're bent over. This way is for if you're going to um, have some flexibility, you pull your leg up here first, then down here, I'm going to show you, I grab it with one finger and the other finger, and then I'm going to put it on one toe, and then all the way over to the other toe. Once it's on, I need to pull, and at this point, I can just hold my arm still and straighten my leg. And look, my sock is on. Now parents, if your heel ends up in the wrong place, let me show that to you. If your heel ends up over here and they can't just grab it and pull, you want to start teaching them where to hold it. So I have one with a heel here. So I know the heel must go in the back, guys. This heel needs to go back here. I'm going to hold it, hold it, cross my leg, and slide it on. Uh-oh, I'm halfway on, and it's not exactly in the right spot. So I'm going to grab this and pull it on. All right, so that's how you put socks on. You can practice that at home. I also am going to show you how to just put how to slip on shoes. Most of our students tend to slip their shoes on. Um, and what you do when you slip your shoes on is you keep it tied. Um, I'm go, going to go over shoe tying in another video. I have a handful of kids doing shoe tying now. So I'll do that in another video, probably a different day. Um, and just give it to those kids that are were practicing it. But when you're doing it, you want to make sure your tongue of your shoe is always up. So one hand should be on the tongue when you put your shoe on. The other hand should be in the back, and you slide your foot in. Now once you're here, let's see my shoe. Once you're here and you got your heel in and your shoe, your finger needs to go inside the back of the shoe to push down. That causes a little pressure on your fingers. So some of the kids may be resistant to that. I'll show you again. You got to make sure the tongue is all the way up, and then you need to make sure you're you have it in the back. So I have it in the front and the back, and I'm sliding it over my toe, and then I'm pulling it on. I'm right here, so I'm gonna put keep my heel up. If your kid is pushing their heel down, they're never gonna get their finger in there. That's not gonna work. 
So I'm keeping my heel up and then I'm pushing it down. I hope you all have a wonderful Wednesday. I miss you guys so much and I really can't wait to see you in person, but I hope you have a lot of fun with your families at home and that you're learning some good skills. Bye guys.